Okay, what's going on everybody? It's Sean from Old Oaks Outdoors down here in Madison, Indiana. Uh, we're going to bring to you a bunch of video segments on different ideas, different tips, different how-tos. Uh, we're going to do a lot of product reviews and comparisons. And today our thought process is when you hear people say deer jumping the string or deer jumping the bow, are they actually jumping the release of the bow? Are they jumping when that arrow uh, is in flight towards the deer? Uh, I mean, with all the noises that are in the woods, with trees falling, trees falling, limbs breaking, walnuts, acorns, everything dropping, uh, squirrels running around, you know, how the sound of the string releasing doesn't really sound much different than uh, limb breaking or uh, branches falling. So my thought is that when the deer jumps, it's because of the arrow in flight and they can pick up that flight uh, with all their senses as the arrow is coming towards them. So with that, we have uh, eight different arrows that we took today. They're all the same arrow. We put on eight different styles of veins, different brands and everything, and we're going to be testing them, shooting them downrange, uh, all the same yard line, all the same poundage bow, the same everything. The only difference is going to be the types of veins on the arrow. All right, for the demonstration today, we got the 2022 Matthews V3X. Uh, we are set up at 29 inch draw, 70 pounds. All right, so for the vein test, uh, we have, for the arrow itself, we have the Axis Sport, the Easton Axis Sport, five millimeters. Um, we cut them all to length. They're all uh, carbon to carbon. The field points are 100 grains. The knocks have all been weight sorted, and they're all within a gram or so of the weight. Um, uh, then, again, the only difference is going to be the veins. So for this first one uh, with the green veins, this is actually just your run-of-the-mill, super cheap arrow veins that you find anywhere. Uh, we actually had, I want to say, two boxes of these. Uh, laying underneath the, the bow press. So we decided to put these on to see how these would fare against all your expensive veins and the other ones. So again, don't know the name, don't know the brand, um, but they look similar to the blazer vein, but again, they're just the very cheap, um, the no name version. Then next we have the AAE Max. These are the yellow veins. These are what a lot of us here at the store shoot. Um, these tend to be the go-to. They t seem to be very durable um, and hopefully they perform as good as the other ones or better. But uh, these are what we go with. Uh, again, they're AAE Max and uh, we're looking forward to see how these do. Third, we have the boning, the X minis. Uh, these are uh, probably the, these are the smallest veins that we have that we offer. Uh, typically, customers put these in four, so you run four veins per. But we decided to go three just for so all the arrows have three veins with the rest of them. But again, these are the boning X minis. Fourth is the Bronco veins. Uh, I actually have some arrows of mine with these Bronco veins on. Uh, they seem to be very durable and hold up just as well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully these will perform all right. And these are by Boning again, uh, Bronco veins. Next is the Blazers. Uh, that's what these orange tiger stripes are. These are the Blazer veins. These come standard on a lot of arrows now these days. Next, we have the Boning X. These are the same as the blue ones, the Boning X Mini, except these are full length, obviously not the minis. Um, these actually seem very durable, and they feel like they will hold up pretty well. Um, they, and they hold their, their stiffness pretty well, so we'll see how these do. Again, these are the Boning X, uh, just the full length. 
Next one are Silent Night. Um, we never even heard of these until we went to ATA this year, and they had a booth, and we started talking to the guys there, and they gave us a bunch of free samples to try. So we decided to throw them on and see how they would fare. They're supposed to be uh, some of the most durable as far as uh, if the veins get bent, they'll bend back to their, to their normal uh, straightness. Uh, then they're also supposed to be some of the most quiet. So we'll see how they fare as well. Uh, then the last one is the Easton Diamond. These are another good one that are on uh, standard on a lot of your Easton arrows. Um, Easton Diamond and that's it.